It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Minnesota Vikings and the New York Giants next on Madden Football. Well, the Giants began play all the way back in 1925. And almost 100 years later, this venue was built to house their next era, MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yeah. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more likely is going to come away with the win. Daniel Jones. Jones has had a tumultuous career. That's with a capital T, by the way, that continues to have some ups and downs. Maybe part of that's playing under the bright lights in the big city of New York. But he's had some tough outings. He's had some brilliant outings. He's had some ups. He's had some downs. But he did take a team to the playoffs, and he's got to use that experience, build off of that confidence, to do it again. First play of the drive. They've got him behind the line for a big loss. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth, Kate, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another kid at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. Second and 13. Oh, he's got a man wide right open. Complete. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. As I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cookie. And you never go broke taking a profit, and those big tight ends will often find you those easy check down yards. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Throwing here, Jones. Connects with Johnson. And he's able to move past the 45 before going out. On game seven, and the Giants will have a first down. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. A tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. Here's Jones. He's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. just like that going up into double coverage and making the play anyway looking to throw on third and one and this one is dropped and incomplete and he had the kick in his hands couldn't hang on it's going to be fourth down well covered on that play really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in third down pass didn't work but the offense staying out there on fourth Jones. He's got to his running back. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. They hit him for five yards on fourth down and get the successful conversion. I call this quarterback's best friend. 
Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you've got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. They go play action on first. coming out slow they're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball a new set of downs forthcoming it's first and ten still sticking with the passing game going to haunt him. There's just no question about it. A drop touchdown in the end zone. Now comes the mental toughness part of it. you got to flush that play quickly so you can make an impact later. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Out of the shotgun. They'll give it to him inside. And he'll make his way down to the 16-yard line. Six yards to pick up there. That's going to bring up third and four. in the defensive encyclopedia that is a picture perfect form of it he was all over him in coverage really forcing the incompletion and it is good no problems there on the shorter attempt in the opening drive the game ends in three points anytime you start sniffing that red zone and you don't score six you only come away with three points not what you're looking for on the call sheet. You know, ready to send this away. That's going to be taken in at the eight. He's got a lane up past the 30. And they'll start this drive in good position, a little shy of the 40. So here come the Vikings, taking the field for their first drive of the game. And we're going to look at their signal caller playing in his seventh season. Sam Darnold's seen an awful lot in his career. Now he's hoping the fourth time is an actual charm. After being a first-round pick, it seems like eons ago for the New York Jets, the guy's experienced a ton of football. And I'll say this. He went into one of the great QB incubators there with Kyle Shanahan in San Francisco. And now we'll all get a chance to see how much he really did learn, how much he really did grow. He is still young in his career. And with the supporting cast in Minnesota, a pretty dynamic receiver on the outside. He's got some nice tools to work with. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Touchdowns, yards, fantasy football world we live in. But as coaches and teammates, Kate, they want something a little bit more. They want to see plays like that. A guy who will always get the short yards in a critical spot like that. They are now set for first and ten. They go play action here. Give it away possession with the pick. You know, we got 
got a lot of game left, obviously. Nowhere close to them putting it away. But you can see things starting to unravel a little bit, even after just two possessions. A touchdown here could really continue that momentum towards an early runaway. The Giants taking the field for their second possession. They've got an early 3-0 lead as they take over here. First and 10 now from the 30. Here's Jones to throw. Taken in by Bellinger. And he'll be that up near the 38-yard line before going down. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. to go they bring a tight end in motion right here's the give on third and short and he's brought down for a loss it's results like that that drive coordinators nuts premature balding gray wrinkles all of it kate you call something conservative the last thing you're thinking is you're going to lose yards on a third and one run The Giants ready to punt, and they're going to send out the lefty, Jamie Gillen, for the kick. And that kick will get out of bounds without a return. Looks to be a little shy of reaching the 20. Minnesota all set to go for its second try. And coming off the interception, a good chance to reestablish some momentum as they get set. Catch made a little beyond the 20-yard line. So no return on that punt. 
And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Jones looking to throw. similar result to a first down run play moves it forward keeps you on schedule and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage halfway to the marker it's second and five from the 27 this one is tipped away and incomplete good positioning to make a play on it that forces third down I think you're seeing why they like this guy in coverage, man. He reacts well to throws and so adept in breaking up passes right through contact or before they ever reach the target. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Jones now to throw. keep possession yeah and i think the key there was to stay calm through the chaos cooler heads prevailed and got him the ball back ball on the 45 first and 10 out of the gun they'll give it to him inside and he scampers ahead and gets two on the carry Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 48. Oh, the receiver. Cut. And he gets this forward to the 19. A pick up there of 33 yards. And the Giants will have a first down. Well, the offense wanted the spark, and he delivered a lightning bolt. Huge gain that totally changes the tone of this drive. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. Working inside the red zone. That one's incomplete in the end zone. That throw doesn't lead to six. So it's second down coming up. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. Another throw here on second down. The throw is caught. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stopped at the two. That's a pickup of 17 yards, partner, and it makes it first and goal. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. Graham Gano to check on the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. ready to 
send this away. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Chance here for one final play before the end of the quarter. He sent him left out of the slot. Okay, the wide receiver is going to get it to begin the drive. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. We'll pause now for an injured player, and it looks like he's worse for wear after handling that last carry. And they can go ahead and stay in that huddle. We're at the end of the first quarter. It's a two-score game early. We'll get back to East Rutherford after this. Huge gain that totally changes the tone of the drive. Following that last play, want to keep that pedal down. First and ten from the 45. Darnold. We'll get this to Jefferson. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. It's not just imperative that a quarterback goes man or someone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag block. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Giants and Devin Singletary back out on offense. 
And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. They'll go right side with Singletary. And into a sea of bodies he goes. Looks like they'll get about three out of it. Second down now, seven to go. Jump too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. Offense to the line for second down. Here he goes on the bootleg. Can't handle the hot throw there as it winds up incomplete. Yeah, I know nobody's perfect. All you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> But you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. I'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's a play that won't pop on the stat sheet, but the players and coaches won't forget about it. I promise you that. Coaches will file that one away the next time. They really need to pick up a few yards. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Here's Jones. Oh, try forcing it to the slant. It's intercepted. Byron Murphy picks it. And the Vikings take over after returning it inside the red zone. He got in front of that one for the pick. Looks like that's the receiver it was designed. defender in coverage right there. That's where as a QB, you've got to have the vision to not just see your route, but see those defenders in front of it. If you stare down your receivers in this league, turnovers follow. The Vikings now set to take the field. And that interception has set them up beautifully inside the red zone. They're out and set. First and ten. They'll set up here for the point after. And the kick is good.
it up and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Giants about to get to work on offense. They are coming off their first interception of the game. This drive now a chance to rebuild some confidence. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Trying to shake out the interception. He's looking to throw. This is complete to neighbors. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal game with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Jones. See how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Now an inside give to Singletary. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. To throw, here's Jones. defense let that guy slip through him like that on third down nonetheless he took that snap as an opportunity man did he make an impact play they've got first down from the 31 now it's a bootleg for him a lot of speed on it too tough to handle incomplete Second down. They'll throw it again. Finds Hyatt. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And the Giants will have a first down. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. Brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Again, left side for Singletary. And they bring him down pretty quickly at the ten. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. It's a design boot. Gets it towards the end zone. That's incomplete. That was simply a case of not enough time available to let that play develop. That throw was out so quick, and he wasn't able to reel it in. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Now Jones. He's on the move. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first.
offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. Trying to push this past the marker. And he pushed for it, but they managed to stop him at the two. So the run doesn't get the yardage. It's a turnover on down. Well, a blitz on fourth down is a gutsy call, but it can work against a pass or a run. Good luck running for the sticks when you got a whole defense crashing you right off the snap. Now the Minnesota offense trotting out. And they're backed up just about as deep as they can be off the interception. Drive starts out with a first and ten. That means, well, one option, run it and buy whatever breathing room you can. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They give it to him again. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. That run good for a gain of two, and just like that, we've hit our two-minute warning. Not a good spot to punt from. They really want to convert here on third. Throwing from near his own goal line. That's Jefferson. He's got it. And he's able to get it to the 21 as he goes down. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's going to get the Vikings the first down. I think one of my first welcome to the NFL moments, Kate, was my first rookie mini camp. <laughs> And in the West Coast system, the Mike Holmgren, who talked like Bill Walsh, it wasn't just getting the completion, it was putting it right on the spot so the receiver could do damage like we just saw. I know I can sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm. Now we have a stoppage. No challenges inside of two minutes and a half, but the replay official wants to take another look at this on their own. So what we're all looking for here, did he secure the catch and maintain it while also getting both feet down? Yeah, this is why it's a perfect look. This is why teams scout body control and field awareness for these pass catchers. For moments like this, he did not have much margin for mm -hmm. error, and it happens oh so fast. They took a look just to be safe. You always appreciate that, but the call on the field stands. Second and three now. From the 29. Looking slant now. Complete. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Come up, first and ten. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. And the Giants are two blocks, they take it down. And the big play drives them backwards, second down, coming up. Not sure it might be a worst case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. Now Donald escapes the pocket. He avoids any kind of trouble, but only a short game to show for it after sliding down.
Ryan Wright on the punt. And he's going to try to give his defense a long field to defend. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this fly. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And that is where they'll start the next drive. The Giants take over now late in this first half. Holding just a field goal lead. Probably going to see them play close to the vest in the time we've got remaining. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Jones looking to throw. And not a great choice on first down. It's incomplete. Nearly intercepted, actually. So second down coming up. Jones now to throw. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. That one came with a higher degree of difficulty. He had to balance focusing on the catch while staying in balance. Here they come. This is third and five. Throwing here, Jones. wants to take another look at this on their own. We're all watching that sideline here, seeing where those feet came down. And no matter what they rule here, Kate, that was an outstanding effort just to make the catch. Yeah. Now we got to look and see, did he get both feet in with possession? So the officials looked at it twice. The replay officials in New York agreed, and the call on the field's going to stand. New set of downs for him from the 46. He'll throw it yet again. So pass caught by his tight end. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 47. That one is caught left side of the field. It's a gain of 21 yards to give up that first down. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. One final shot before halftime. for the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. That's going to bring us to the end of this first half of football with the Giants holding things down in East Rutherford. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to Orlando. Turn things over to our buddy Jonathan Coachman in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Giants got solid play out of their quarterback in that first half. That's Daniel Jones. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Good night. 
ready to send this away. Here's a return from the seven. Find some space. He's past the 30. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. The Vikings taking the field on offense. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Here's first and ten from the 34. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Ooh, put some heat on this deep ball. Left side. That's grabbed inside the 30. And he's going to score a touchdown, Minnesota. The Vikings cut into the lead, coming out of halftime. It's a Justin Jefferson touchdown. Looking to tack on the point after. And the extra point is up, and it is good. Turn start to the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Here's Jones to throw. Got a man, Robinson has it. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Good luck defending that short yardage slam. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. the shotgun, they'll get to him inside. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? Well, did the exact opposite here, Kate. Now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. Let's see what they draw up on these third and seven. Here's Jones. Hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Throwing now, off play action. Bails out of the pocket quick. Oh, look at this. Here he goes. That's just a case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with, and he was lucky to get what he could. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Throw 
from the 46. He's going to loft one deep to the left. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Defense doubled him, knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. A bit surprising. Quarterback still threw in that direction with how well that defense had that play covered. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Jones. To the left sideline, complete. And he gets this forward to the 19. It's a massive 35-yard pickup, first down. If only every completion could get that kind of result, that's good enough to knock a defense flat on its back. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. From the red zone now. And this one's caught. And he's going to be taken down by the eight-yard line. A nice pick up of 11 there, Brock. And they'll have first and goal to figure out. You'll often hear it said, in my life experience, it's true. The NFL is a game of matchups. So much more than any level. And these tight ends, we see it time and again, are such a matchup nightmare down the field. Throwing it again here. He's on the move. And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs. But so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. They'll send him up the middle. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. While the offense is looking for a possible touchdown, Kate, it's the defense that's stolen the mojo with that stop. This is how they teach you to defend the goal line. Buckle up. It's third and goal. to throw. Here's Jones. Escapes the... And he will score! It's a New England touchdown! The Giants push their lead further to start the half. Daniel Jones with the touchdown! for the PAT. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. and Justin Jefferson ready to go to work again offensively. Well, Brock, it only took him one play to reach the end zone last drive. They might have to work a little bit harder this time out. They're out and set. First and ten. From the gun, Jones gets it. And he maneuvers through the middle for a game of four. Second and six coming up here. From the 34. He's got it. Room to run. And he's up to the 35. 
sure nice to have that safety valve. Sure nice to have a running back that not just able to tote it, Kate, but he's able to capture. That's down multiple times they've looked his way, and multiple times he's delivered. Chance about the chains here on 34. Darnold now the throw. That's caught for the first. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like, the 40-yard line. A 70-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. As quarterback, when you have an out route versus man coverage, you're just hoping and just praying your offensive guy could turn the kick to that defender. And once you see that, you got to cut it loose and let it go, just as they did right there. Open receiver, caught. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And it'll bring up a Minnesota first down. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on it. And then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat, throw it right through your target's chest. This one, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. Marcus reset, ball at the 37. to throw. Here's Darnold.
They'll try this extra point. And he sends the point after right through the upright. to return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Drive will start out with a first and ten. Throw in here, Jones. Finds Hyatt. And this one gets to the 33 yard line before it's done. You know what I love to say? You never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. From the 33 on second down. takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. They gave up the gut to Singletary. Yeah, you want to get above five yards to carry? Well, put together runs like that. And I'll tell you what else a run like that does, Kate. That sets up the play action, right? When you really just gouge and gash a defense like that, the next time you run that action, they're going to be thinking of running the ball to go right over their head. This is the end of the third quarter. It's the Giants with the ball trying to close out what would currently be a win. Set up now for first and ten. Takes the handoff, now to throw. Here's pressure, and he's dropped by the Vikings. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. I love a good bootleg, just like every other quarterback does. And bootlegs are most effective, Kate, when you're running it first and you deceive that defense. But if you're not running it, or it's a poor fake, or you got a defense that is sound, or you have the opportunity to get hit in the face in less than two seconds, just like that. All right, here we go, second down. Trying again, following the set. To the sideline, oh, he's got it, what a toe 
can be some high risk at times but big time rewards think about this for a second kate we talk all the time about the efficiency of a slant route yep. an in breaking that angle breaking in mm -hmm. right higher completion rate you're throwing something breaking in you have a corner that breaks out obviously the efficiency may not be there but boy touchdowns and big touchdowns can follow when the two stay connected gano for the pat One right down the middle and they'll continue adding to their lead Send this away. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Vikings and Sam Darnold heading out for their next shot on offense. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving him down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. Chuck a field and it sets him up with first and goal. 
You throw it in the middle of the field, it's all about anticipation and accuracy. I mean, those are the two keys all the time in my book, Kate. But when you throw it in the middle of the field with all of the traffic, that's where guys with great anticipation and a tremendous accuracy come to life. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This game has evolved so much over the years, but there's just certain times, there's certain moments, some flashes of greatness like that that you see Dick Buckets, that you see Jack Lambert, that you see Mike Singletary. These middle linebackers stuffing a run. This guy in particular, like the greats used to do. Another chance for him. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry on the field. Things look good on the play until we saw the pull of the face mask, and that spoils the defensive effort. So now, following the penalty, it's first and goal. And he's brought down for a loss. There's no question that offensively you're disappointed when you these goal to go and you go backwards. But this is one of those situations, Kate, where I gotta give a tremendous amount of credit to that defense, that surge, that want to, that leverage to not just stop them at the point of attack and knock them two yards backwards. It's a hit and right. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. I just love these goal to go situations. It's just a tug of war. It's a back and forth on both sides. You know how important it is to put points on the board. This defense doing all they can to hold them at just three. So now, here's third and goal. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Minnesota. The Vikings face a four-point deficit. That one not easy, Brock. Threading the needle there. There was a lot of traffic in the end zone, but he found his man. Yeah, that was an ill-advised decision. But when you give your receiver a chance, that's what they love. And sometimes you just have to trust your guys are better than theirs. They can tack on one more now, bring things back to within a field goal. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. First and ten now from the 30. And off running left, here's Singletary. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. First down play, that's in five. It's going to be second and five.
Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Here's Jones to throw. He finds the open man now. They get there to take him down right around the 41. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route, too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. First and ten from the 41. Jones looking to throw. He finds Johnson. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. This is one of those times, Kate, where I got to put my glasses on up in the booth and realize the line between receiver and tight end is so easily blurred. Why? Because this guy can run. He showed it before the catch with a great route, and he showed it even more so with the yards after catch. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. And they'll run it with Singletary. And he stopped out of the 16 after a small game. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. Here's Singletary again. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. He got five, and now it's going to be third down and three. Gano for the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Send this away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And he's been reading the coverage, dare I say, Brock, even better than his quarterback has all game. I mean, he just continues to find openings and make plays in this second half.
in the hurry up here. Second and three. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Pick up a five on that play. And that's going to get the Vikings the first down. And that's a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on a throw, that's a go-to route to target. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Here's Donald the throw. They left him wide open. It's complete. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. Down a couple of scores, but still some time left and three timeouts as well. It's first and ten. Here he is to throw. He's got it near the ten. And they get this down to the ten-yard line before going down. They get 19, and now they're going to have first and goal. Now, here's a spot where the timing's got to be absolutely perfect Kate, between the quarterback and the receiver. That throw is made before that receiver's ever thinking of coming out of this cut. Too early, it's incomplete. Too late, it's headed the other way. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. You know, anytime you see a player tapping his chest, I'm not a great lip reader, but I know exactly what that says. My bad. My fault. Quarterback delivers him a good ball. He knows that's one he should have caught. So the incompletion on first. Here's second and goal. Throwing now. And it's caught. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Minnesota. The Vikings reduce the lead to just four. It's a Justin Jefferson touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. And now for the point after, and crucially to bring things within a field goal. That one splits the uprights, and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. So with less than a minute and a half to play, they must recover this onside effort. And the Giants hands team secures the football. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Needed to try it, we all get it, but didn't work. Still now have those three timeouts to fall back on. They did need to try it, but I think there is a school of thought of, hey, also kick it deep with those three timeouts. So now, your defense can't give up a yard. Right now, you've really burdened your defense to get a quick stop, a quick stop, a quick stop, and make sure they do not give up any yardage to this opposing offense. Let's go defense. New slate of downs to approach here from the 40. Vikings call a timeout. It'll be their first. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. Robinson sets in motion left. Now stick with Singletary. They've got him behind the line for a big loss. Wonder what 
what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. He'll look to throw it. He's on the move. He'll make a big throw on the ground. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Now the Vikings use their third and final timeout. As they'll get together and discuss with fourth down coming up. Pressure on him. He was not backing down for a second. Nice effort to carry the rock. More importantly for his offense to get a first down. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. And he takes a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. Now you can enjoy the victory. Second down. Probably going to see him kneel it again here. So the Giants come away with the win. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. So for Brock Heward and all of our crew, I'm Kate Scott wrapping up another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a well-earned win for the Giants as we say so long from New York.